Good morning, students. How are you? Students, today we will do chapter number three. That is multiplication. Students, I will tell you a story, and in that story, we will play with our fingers, and we will learn how to multiply very well. Okay, so let's play. Dear students, one day some children were going to a zoo. They had some mangoes with themselves. Let's see how many mangoes. One student came with two mangoes. The other one also came with two mangoes. Now there are four mangoes. The third one also had two mangoes. Now there are six mangoes. In the fourth bowl, a student came with two mangoes. Now there are eight mangoes in these four bowls. Now see, two is here for how many times? One, two, three, four. So we can say students, four times two. Students, to count all the mangoes, we added two, four, four times. So there were eight mangoes in all. By adding two for four times, we got eight. Four times two. Four times two means four multiplied by two. Here we can use the sign of multiplication on the place of times. As we use the sign of addition to add the two numbers, Similarly, we use the sign of multiplication to multiply two digits. So, 4 multiply by 2 will be equal to 8. They went by cars. They had three cars. 1, 2, 3. Each car has four wheels. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, see students. 4 and 4, 8 and 8 and 4 is equal to 12 wheels. Now see students, how many times there is 4? 1, 2, 3. So we can say 3 times 4. To count the wheels of the cards, we added 4, 4, 3 times. And we got 12 wheels in all. So students, 3 times 4 means 3 multiplied by 4. Here we can use the sign of multiply on the place of times. 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. There they saw wild animals. This animal has 4 legs. Second one also has four legs. Four plus four is equal to eight. The third animal has also four legs. Now eight plus four is equal to twelve. Fourth animal is also having four legs. So twelve plus four is equal to students. Sixteen. Now please count with me how many times four is there. One, two, three, four. So we can say students, four times four. Students, to count the legs of all the animals, we added four times four. So we got 16 legs in all. Four times four means four multiplied by four. Here we can use the sign of multiplication at the place of Times. So, 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16. While coming back, they felt hunger. Some of them had apples. So, they distributed within themselves. Now, see how many apples are there. In one bowl, there are 5 apples. In the next one, there are also 5 apples. Now there are 10 apples in 2 bowls. In the third one, there are also 5 apples. Now there are 15. In the next one, 
There are also five apples. Now there are twenty apples. In the fifth bowl, there are also five apples. Now there are twenty-five. And in the last one, there are also five apples. Now in these six bowls, we are having thirty apples. Now see students, how many times is five there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can say six times five. Dear students, to count all the apples, we added five for six times, and then we got thirty. So see here, six times five means six multiply five. Here we can use the sign of multiplication at the place of times, and so we can say six multiplied by five will be equal to thirty. Six into five is equal to thirty. Now they are playing with their hands. One of them put his hand forward after standing four fingers. Now there are four fingers. See here, there are four fingers. The another child also put forward four standing fingers. Now there are eight fingers. Four plus four is equal to eight. Next hand also having four standing fingers. Now there are four more standing fingers. So now there are twelve fingers. Next hand is also having four standing fingers. Now there are sixteen standing fingers. The next hand is also having four standing fingers. Now see students. Sixteen were earlier and four were added more, so there are now twenty standing fingers. Now, students, see. Let's count with me. How many times four is there? One, two, three, four, five. So we can say this five times four. Five times four will be equal to twenty. Five times four means five multiply by four. Five multiply by four will be equal to twenty. Now look, students. One child put his three fingers forward. Now the another one also put his. Three fingers. Now three standing fingers were earlier, and three more standing fingers are added. So now there are six standing fingers. The next hand is also having three standing fingers. Now six and three is equal to nine standing fingers. The next hand is also having three standing fingers. Now there are. Twelve standing fingers. Count with me, students. How many times three is there? One, two, three, four. It means we can write it so: four times three. Four times three is equal to twelve. You know, students, we can use the sign of multiplication in the place of times. So, four multiplied by three is equal to twelve. This is your page number eighty-two, dear students. Now you will do the same with the help of your fingers. Thank you.